Welcome back to Vinyl Decal School. Thanks for joining me. Any likes, subscribes and follows are always appreciated. So thank you in advance for those. So if you're a vinyl decal seller or an Etsy shop owner or a small business CEO, whatever you are, if you're working really hard for yourself and you feel like you should be making a bit more than you already do, this is just your reminder that you deserve to make a good living for yourself and a little push in case you don't think you can increase your prices because maybe you can. I just thought this was an important video to make because I know I've had times in the past where I felt like I would lose customers if I put my prices up and I've questioned whether my decals were even worth much more than I was selling them for, even though I work really hard on them. But each time I have increased my prices when I've felt like it's the right time, I haven't lost any customers or business and no one's really complained about it. So even if this video just reminds one person that they're doing an amazing job and that they deserve to be paid fairly for what they're doing, then it's definitely worth it. But if you're not sure if you're even charging the right amount to begin with and you're not sure if you're quite making a profit yet, please do consider having a look at my course on Skillshare. It's free for two weeks for all new members and it can help you figure out everything you need to know about setting costs and all of the different expenses and things like that you need to think about. It is aimed at vinyl decal sellers, but pretty much anyone with a product-based business can find lots of helpful tips for pricing their items. But if you've already set your prices and you're making a profit, but perhaps not much of a profit or you wanna make a bit more profit, then these are five different reasons why you might want to think about increasing your prices. So number one is if you're not paying yourself a living wage. So even if you're making a profit, you might not necessarily be paying yourself enough to cover all of the time you spend on your business. And it's really easy to kind of forget about that when you're kind of in the business and you don't step back and take a look. But if you think about all of the time you're spending on social media, going to the post office, answering customer messages, creating new designs, finding new suppliers, all of that kind of thing, are you definitely paying yourself enough to cover all of that time? Again, do check out my course if you're not sure on that as there is some guidance on how you go about working that out. Number two is if you're much cheaper than your competitors. I don't suggest you do a lot of stalking your competitors because you don't want to just copy their prices. It's too easy to compare yourself if they're doing a little bit better or making a few more sales. And also you don't want to unconsciously copy one of their designs and recreate it without realizing where you've seen it. So definitely don't do it too often, but you do also want to check that you're not underselling yourself or undercutting your competition either, as it's not a good look. And it also doesn't send the best message to your customers either, who might assume because yours are much cheaper that they're not as good quality, which I'm sure they are. And I'm only talking about like noticeably cheaper here. If they're like a small percentage cheaper, then that might be fine. Maybe you've got cheaper suppliers, or a different way of doing it or something like that. I'm just talking about any difference that might make a customer question why yours are that much cheaper as that could potentially be a problem and make them go elsewhere. Number three is if any of your costs have went up. The suppliers that you buy from might have put their prices up or you may have started buying better quality materials or shipping costs may be a bit more. But also, have you just started using a new design software that you've had to pay for or scheduling software to kind of keep up with everything you're doing because you're so busy? Have your Etsy fees increased because of off-site ads? You can see there's just all these little things, things you might not even directly relate to your business that could have went up in cost. And unless you increase your prices, even just like by a little amount, it's gonna eat into your profits. This also applies to if you're hiring anyone, if you're taking on a premises or a workshop, buying more machines, anything on the bigger scale as well. Although if you're kind of at that stage, you probably want to be making sure that your customers are willing to pay a little bit more first before you make that commitment. Number four is that you're making so many sales that you can't keep up. This is purely because it's better to be making less sales for more money than more sales for less money, as that takes up less of your time, which can then be spent on doing different things to grow the business even bigger. 
And obviously, if you are that busy, your products in your customer service must be amazing. So people shouldn't mind paying a little bit extra for them. Just obviously be aware that if you want to raise prices significantly, then you will probably have to think about some extra added value that you can include with them, which might actually not make it worth it in the long run if that's then taking up all of your time. But it could be something to think about anyway. And then the last one is if your prices have been the same for a long time. Inflation basically means you're paying yourself less every year unless you increase your prices. And that's all I can really say on that because I don't know the ins and outs of inflation. I just know that it makes things get more expensive every year. So if nothing else, hopefully that is a reminder to you to double check every now and again that you're definitely paying yourself enough even if you don't put your prices up just yet. And also it goes without saying that you don't wanna outprice yourself either. So I'm not kind of suggesting that you double your prices overnight as there probably is a limit to how much you can charge with your product unless you're adding a ton of extra value. And you could also look at decreasing some expenses as well if you do wanna just kind of balance your profits out that way too. But if you can justify your prices, then there shouldn't be anything to stop you. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, follow and subscribe for more videos like this in future.